Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. I'm Rebecca, creator of Ganchi Plans printables at ganchiplans.com slash shop. Every month I like to post a video going over all the inserts that were released in the previous month just to give you an idea of what's available, the way I use it, to give you some ideas for how you can use it in your own planner system. Stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be talking about a Mother's Day sale that's going on starting tomorrow. But first let's jump in. Today I'm talking about all the inserts that were released in April 2021. Most months I try to publish five new inserts, but this month is only four because there's some other stuff going on as well. So um, starting off, insert 36 is this weekly time blocking uh, spread. So on the left, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the whole time ladder from midnight to midnight. Um, every single size has the full 24 hours. And so this allows you to schedule out your day in time blocks or to you know track how long something takes you. Um, I think it can be a really nice visual, and the reason I made this was uh, with a lot of my inserts. I design the things that I want to use myself, and so I was looking for something like this and decided to just whip this up. Um, if it bothers you that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is wider than Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, I'm sorry, but uh, they are all, all even numbers of blocks, so that's good. And yeah, I just think it's kind of useful, handy little weekly spread if you like to visualize your time this way. Insert 37 is new and interesting. This is my second, I think, or no, third now that involves folding. Um, so this is a flip out um, or fold out to-do list. So on page one here, you see it folds out to the right, page two folds out to the left. So you can print those back to back and use both um, and they'll that will work fine. Um, currently in my May um, weekly setup, which I showed briefly in my May plan with me, I have just the left side printed out here. And so this is going to be my to-do list while I have dailies for my week um, over in the main planner. So this part will stick out of the planner um, and be just a to-do list. You have a little bit of an extra grid page here for whatever sort of notes you need. And then this can stay folded out while you do anything else in your planner um, and be just a handy reference list. It would be great for, I don't know, evergreen checklists or, or like I'm using for a weekly checklist or infinite uses, I'm sure. Insert 38 and 39 are both kind of similar. Uh, 38 is gift ideas. So whenever you think of something and thought, oh, that would be a perfect gift for so-and-so, you write it down um, so that you know, have it handy when it's time to actually get a gift for that person. It also works um, if you have a gift in mind, but you don't know who you're getting it for. For example, we've got a couple of baby gifts that were like duplicates. We already owned a uh, Fisher-Price chatter phone. So it's in the closet waiting for somebody to turn one. Um, and I don't mind if they know that because if they watch these videos and they care, they can let us know if they already have a chatter phone too. And we won't perpetuate the cycle. Anyway, these, uh, fields are possibly more than you need, but hopefully can cover all kinds of circumstances. So recipient slash occasion covers both, um, gifts where you know who the person's going to be, or if you know what the occasion is like first birthday, for example, idea means basically what the gift is source can be where you're going to buy the gift who you got the gift from originally so that you don't re-gift it to the same person and then any kind of notes obviously very generic and then uh, you have a checkbox with all of these so that you know when it has actually been given so you don't give them socks two years in a row insert 39 is a wish list ideally this is for your own wish list though i suppose you could put this as you know wish lists for your kids or whatever um, so this is item, the thing that you wish for, um, from could be like, oh, I, um, I know where I can get it from a specific website or a, you know, specific store could be, um, like from a specific person that, you know, wants to get you something. And this is the sort of thing that would be a great gift from a specific person, um, occasion or reward. So that's if you want to like say request, put it on your Christmas wish list, you would put Christmas list or, you know, birthday coming up. You can put that here so that you know, like which things you've told people about, um, reward. I would think it'd be more if you are looking to get it for yourself, say once I, you know, make this sale, I'm going to get myself a reward. Or once I, um, clean the whole, you know, declutter my closet, I'm going to get myself a new, you know, pair of practical jeans. I don't know, whatever. And then obviously another note section, this makes these two inserts very similar checkbox when you have already gotten the thing. Always nice to know, like if somebody says, Hey, what can I get you for your birthday? It's nice to have a list handy so that you're not, you know, it just, you don't end up with something that you're never going to use and you don't have to keep someone waiting for ideas. 
Uh, so those are the four inserts that I released this month that are brand new. There's a couple new things um, in the shop though that are sort of rehashes. So we've got um, insert 14 from way back. This is the dated monthly and I was releasing these as quarterly releases. Um, so we had, you know, Jan uh, let's see, January, February, March. Um, right here. This is now 2021 is now available as a full 12 month download. Um, and I also redid the pricing scheme. So this is how it's going to be for the foreseeable future for 2022 at least. Um, I'm going to do the whole year as one download. It's a pretty large download. It's like almost four megabytes compared to, you know, the other inserts. Um, but it's got all 12 months and also this is formatted so that if you are a traveler's notebook person, this prints out nicely for traveler's notebooks. That means it looks a little bit wonky if you're going to be cutting these individually and putting them in uh, your ring planner. It might be a little bit messy to have to find January down somewhere at the bottom or wherever it is. Um, July is handy because it's just on one page, but everything else you're going to probably have to print out two different places and then just save the rest for next month. Um, they are, uh, you know, usable still. Uh, if you print out everything, you just use what you're using. I personally like to just print out one month at a time and leave the back blank, but that, you know, you don't have to do that. You can do a whole insert. So I just wanted to let you know that the pricing scheme has also changed. So um, these are now, it's base price is $10 for the entire year. Um, it's currently set at a discount because we are already entering May. So it's already discounted and I will continue to be discounting the inserts that are there as time goes on. So, um, if January through March is set at like 50 cents if you still wanted to buy that um, first quarter of the year even though we're past that if you want to do some back planning or memory keeping or whatever it is available and that will be like the cheapest it goes 50 cents um, and so eventually this will be the same when we move on to the new year with a brand new $10 insert but just you know if you're coming into this late and you just want it for the rest of the year you won't be breaking the bank um, buying it if you just want the last couple months then the next thing that I released, uh, by the time this video goes live, hopefully my entire library will be available in personal wide. I got this request from like two people within the span of a couple of weeks. I'm like, okay, it's a sign. I'm going to do it. So I went back, made, I'm making the whole catalog available in personal wide as well. There's only a couple more left to do as of the time of recording, but I think by the time this video goes live, there should be, um, the entire catalog available in this fifth size. So now, now everything is available now in pocket size, personal, A6, personal wide, and then the half letter slash A5. Those are the same insert, uh, but they are, you know, two separate sizes technically. Then the last thing I wanted to tell you about today is the Mother's Day sale that is going on. Um, today, as I'm publishing, is Thursday the 6th, is that right? Um, and so tomorrow, the 7th Friday, uh, is Friday before Mother's Day here in the U.S. I know it's different elsewhere, but you can still celebrate this uh, with us from Friday through next Monday or Tuesday. Um, there's going to be five different inserts that are 50% off. And these are inserts that are, I think, kind of related to motherhood. I know it's a bit stereotypical, but these are the ones that are going on sale. Insert six, which is clothes sizes for kids so you can uh, keep track of what size all of your kids are wearing in various items of clothing. Insert 12 is your uh, reusable packing list. This is fantastic if you're taking trips that involve multiple people because you can keep track of how many, you know, say, oh, I want to bring, you know, so many shirts for so many days. Uh, you don't have to keep writing everything out. You can just use a column for every single trip. Insert 16, library books with due dates. Um, always important, especially when you have little kids who love to devour those books. Um, insert 18 is, um, this can, doesn't have to be a mom thing. This is an inventory log generally, but I designed this and I use this for my breast milk pumping and storage, uh, stash tracking so that I know how much milk I have available. So that's why I am putting this out for Mother's Day. If you, like me, are a pumping mom, I have found this insert to be so helpful to me. Then the last one is insert 27, a more recent one. Um, this is the meal planning and I've been using this every single week since I released it as well. 
The nice thing about this is that if I'm too lazy to like set it all up again for the next week, it's got two weeks worth of meal planning set up here. So um, I was just doing this today or yesterday and today setting up my, my meal plan for the week. And for the first time I actually did like an in-store grocery shopping trip and having this categorized list was super helpful. Cause when I was in the produce department, I was just looking at one section. I was in the, um, you know, the dry goods aisle, looked at another section, dairy, meat, etc. So those five inserts are all gonna be available uh, 50 percent off through this weekend starting tomorrow morning thanks for watching check the description for links to everything and while you're down there go ahead and hit the like button subscribe and ring the bell i post planner videos every thursday so i'll see you guys in the next one bye